got a bunch of computers uh, out of my garage, so I'm going to take my storage and strip them apart on video. Try to strip some of them apart anyways, and then I want to strip some of my TVs apart today. So that's only my plan today. So i got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven computers. Here's that flat one that you've seen before I got at the uh, garbage dump. Okay, let me continue here. Get the tools set up and start stripping. Today it looks like it's got a heavy heat sink on here, but I figure how it comes out. It doesn't have any real spots that come out. There it is. See one one tantalum here. That's about it. So here's the heat sink. Um, don't have the right uh, right tool to pull it off. But anyways, let's see where it is. Okay, let's strip another time. So we'll start with the computers here. I usually take the power supply off. There's only three screws in a power supply, or four screws. Now, since I'm selling it with the uh, without wire. I'm not taking the power supply apart because it's not worth it. Nothing in it. Totally not worth it at all. So I'm looking for any gold-plated connections. Clean the wire up a little bit. The fans, all I do is just say crunch the four corners up, bracing arms. Okay, and I just bend these off. If it's some are a little bit hard, you can with a pair of pliers or something. I'll throw that in my mortar pile. Mortars. Well, you can see if you look, you can see gold plating from the edges. So I'll cut them. Here's a plug. There should be gold plating on it, but investigate later. Usually if I'm really in a hurry, I, I won't take these off. I'll just leave them on for now, but... It is a little bit time consuming. You can put this in a separate pile. This type of stuff. But the obvious ones that are on the wires, you can cut off right away. So obviously I'm not going to get everyone, but just grab what I can, whatever's easy. It's like the board's somewhat loose already. Okay. I still have to process more, but I'll do another time. Put the board's in there. Here, I'll process them late, later. 
That's a 500 gig one. Here is 500 gigs. Sometimes the screws on the opposite side, so you have to take these screws out of here. Drop the side panel off. And when you drop the side panel off, you have more access to screws for those uh, the hard drives or the uh, floppies or DVD drives. You only a couple screws usually. You have to slide out the front. You have hard DVD drives over there. And then Sometimes on these front panels, there's uh, some good stuff here, like there's some gold plating in this stuff here, so you should pop these off. Then you got a bunch of wires and different things. I'll just cut these off here. Okay, so that one's done. It's pretty light, that one. Not, not much for uh, scrap value, but anyways, that's where they are. Some are uh, heavy duty, some are light. Depends on the make, the manufacturer, and so on. Okay, I'm gonna keep these here because there's a little bit of gold plating on these USBs. get into the small one here they're all a little different these things huh it's got a nice aluminum here in this one This one here, I can't get my tool in the holes here, so I gotta break corners off here. Try this one out. So like I was showing you here, I can't get my tool in here, so I'll, I'll just break these little tabs off on the end. And then I can unscrew these. And I'll screw directly to the heat sink. Pop them off. These ones would just go. Just smash them out. Get a clean aluminum heat sink right there. Okay. I haven't opened one like this for a while, so they're a little tricky. It's like a modular system. If you don't open many of these, you know, just almost like you're uh, learning again. DVD drive. It's got the 500 gig Barracuda drive in there. It came out. Should just pop out. It's not. There it is. This drive is probably good. Some 200, 500 gigs. Put that aside. Let's see what kind of a it's a oh, pinless. Yeah, pinless. So up here. 
ram was, must have been taken out, I guess. Some graphics card, I guess, or something. Power supply's got three screws here on the coin. Back's supposed to come off somehow here, but I'm not seeing anything obvious. Actually, a little thing here should slide up. There it is. All it does is uh, a little clip in there and it slides forward. I stripped a bunch of these before, but I kind of forgot. I don't normally do a lot of these ones. Okay. And all these black ones have gold plating in them, black plugs. Pop them off. Like I say, when you take these apart, it's not a big race, it's just to, you know, take it apart, enjoy, have fun, right? You know, I'm not going to go for every piece of uh, plating because it's just, sometimes it's not really worth it. There's a little bit of plating on here. Most of the plating is just so minute anyways, it's not, the newer stuff's not as good as the old stuff. Old stuff had tons of plating and some thick plating too. Okay. This one has a spacer here. Let's come off. So, I should take these off here. If they come off, I take them off. It releases a big bracket in the back. It's just added waste. Okay, that one's done for now. So, then what I'll do. Put the fan four corners. You put it all like this in there, they don't complain. That's the wrong one. Take them as as mortars, right? First to take them as pl too much plastic otherwise. If it's too hard, you just go like that, put two on the middle. And you bend it. There it is. So this one here, I'm going to take out this plug here. Plug assembly. Got one screw on the... take this part off here separates plastic these you have to break apart later dig into uh, those USBs for the uh, for the aluminum and not aluminum the gold I mean okay. I'm gonna strip a few more 
And I'll just show you, if I see something interesting, I'll show you more. Okay. It's a flattened my computer. It's processing it here. This was a RAM bus here. It actually fell apart. Anyways, I just kept that. So hopefully I could get, uh, get it apart. Drivers. In between sides or something. It's too bad. Okay, well, I need the right tool. If not, I gotta pry it apart. Okay. Actually, um, I can get a slot on this one here. Okay. The flat screwdriver fits. CPU out. Hmm. Oh, no fits there. Aluminum copper heat sink. CPUs here. Take it out. Huh. Heat, the heat sink fell off. And the rest of it's here. It's all crushed. You can see all the gold on there. It's all crushed. There it is. Got her out. You can see all the gold plating on the pins. Got crushed pretty good this one, I'll tell you. Okay. On the board. I want to see this plate here. What's it made out of? Steel. Heat sink. Okay. Move on to something oh, else. Uh, this person was a smoker because it's all like nicotine stained and it stinks like cigarette smoke. I say buy stuff secondhand. Just looking for. Problems, garbage. Okay. A couple of ones here got gold plating. Usually ones that are black. Black ones have gold plating. Just gotta look. It's easy to tell. You usually see the plating come out the sides.
Got a little holder here. Your hard drive. A little slot holder like. When it's heavy gauge, you can feel the weight of this. Very heavy. So everyone's a little different. Let's see how many gigs in Thailand. Some of these things, it's hard to get off. Okay, ready for now. Computer. Okay. And it uh, looks like it's a good one. Got lots of uh, RAM. Large pin to CPU, which is nice. Nvidia GeForce 8600 graphics card. Anybody knows? Was that any good? It's hot today. I got my uh, I dress for the sweater, my t shirt, my jacket. I have to take my jacket off. It's hot. It's a hot day today. It's only heat sinks. Surprised I found uh, quite a few hard drives. Usually, you never find them. Some of these computers are really dusty. You can't do them in your house, you gotta do them outside. It's just too dusty. A bird up there somewhere. Oh, it's like a. Wow, what is that thing? Oh, it's a nice looking bird. Not a standard bird around here. Off here. 
You can tell the better power supply has got a heavy gauge wire versus the cheap ones, got real thin gauge. You can tell the quality difference. Lots of screws. Come on to here. Okay, put all my boards. Okay. The rest is straight forward. I'm gonna show you what the rest, all what I got uh, in a minute. Didn't get many cards for some reason. I got uh, five cards out of all those computers. Got one CPU, two, three, four, five, six. Not much stuff came out of there really. A few little bit of RAMs. Oh, these are all uh, gold plated pins and so on and connectors. Got some DVD drives. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, five floppies. Got uh, seven hard drives. One 400, two 500 gigabytes. It's another DVD drive. These are a little harder to take apart. Pretty time consuming actually, but all up to what you want to do right and then here's the boards uh, some of the CPUs I think I, I took out myself yeah I took a couple out before that's why it's not many one two three four one two three four five six seven I think uh, eight, eight computers I think I took apart so that's it that's all the good stuff uh, DVD drive is only basically a board there not a lot in there, it's the board. Okay, let's get ready for TVs. Drives, just got no space for storage. Just want to get rid of these. Show you how I'm going to do these ones. It's very simple. Just pull the board out, just like that. It's a brass thing here. I'll pry that off. Here she snaps, okay, piece of brass. I mean, usually I'll take them down with the mortars and stuff, but just running out of space. Even this one, look how poor that is. Nothing on it. It's a steel one. Oops. Yeah. A little brass there. Like there's a couple mortars in there, but it's just a couple you got the time to store the stuff and take all the space. It's actually a full board. Quite an old one. Hmm, wow. I had one I thought for. Okay. Hmm, it's pretty strange that one. Okay, same with the floppies. Floppies actually, a lot of them are just 
got to pry one end off. Okay, here's a couple screws here. Oh, this one's a little, a little different, this one here. Couple screws. It's only this brown connection I'm interested in, really. A little wire. Some more to hear, but just a That's it. Very simple. I don't even have probably enough screwdriver here with me. Okay, this one's a cast one, so it's an old one. This one I'll just do over here for now. Okay. Okay, that one actually. I have a couple old ones here, cast ones. Cast ones are probably off the uh, ceramic CPU one I got. Ideally, I just want the pins. There's a couple chips here you can take too. The rest is basically tread. Okay, here, let's take the back off. Lots of screws on the outer edge. So, these all these boards I'm going to take. Definitely need a two gun for this one. Another one here. Okay, push it. A little tape holding it. two-way tape on there. Okay. There's also boards that run along here. Speaker. I'm sure a lot of screws. So, um, see all this, all this stuff's got gold plating on here. It's all gold plating. All these little cables and wires. Some are and some aren't. So you have to really look at both of them, actually. But you can see, it's just basic power boards.
I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but... No one really wants to buy them, that's the problem. So I'm just going to have to uh, process them a little bit, I guess. I'm just interested in the uh, this board, like this kind of board here and stuff. Jermaine Brain is right there. And all this, this stuff here is gold plated. So it needs to be cut off. And it's all gold plated. You can just get a scissor on, just a scissor, just cut cut it off. These aren't, you no, know, maybe silver plate or something, but not gold. Get that a little closer. So there's a fair amount of wire mixed in here. This one, this one's probably, these are all nicely plated too, if you can see. See the plating there? Very nice. So that, those are the ones you want to put aside. And all these little connections will be gold plated too. So you have to dig into them later on. Okay. That's why these TV sets are good. Lots of gold plated fingers. See that? It's all fingers. So it's not a lot in these TVs, but you still have a big metal shell at the end. Metal shell has actually got a lot of weight to it. Let's take the cross support off. Those ones aren't as good. The plating on those ones don't look that good. But there is some plating there. Most of it gets taken off when you pull the thing apart. Yeah, I don't see too much there. But there, there is a gold plating on the actual connection. It's the main connection, but not on the other terminals. Well, there is a little bit there. So you have to go through it. To see if it's worth your time. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull the outer plastic off this thing and then I can scrap this whole thing. Okay, let me just uh, take out another TV. Stand by. LG, it's probably a smart TV. It's loaded, it's got a lot of stuff in here. But, uh, there's just so much stuff to I can't show you everything taken apart here just because it's just too kind of time consuming. Okay. It's a million screws, you need a screw gun, just the screws everywhere. Up and down, sideways. This base is really heavy. Ten pounds alone that base. Yeah, it's uh, fully loaded. But anyways, the ideal thing is you take all the power boards off, take everything off you can. Uh, all this gold plated here along the sides here. Gold corner chips, flat packs, all sorts of good IC chips for gold recovery, RAM type chips, aluminum, so all sorts of mixed metals here. 
aluminum heat sinks everywhere but this one's really time consuming with the cast aluminum that holds the frame right here this is actually aluminum the base itself but usually they're pretty dirty I just throw them to shred but anyways a lot's here quite a bit of wires so it's up to you on what how much you want to do but power boards you know it's a lot of material here okay oh so a fair amount of stuff on this TV set there's no I don't see any gold plating on the inside parts here but look at that that's the main one you want anyways gold corner chip these are probably RAM different type of RAM chips that look like almost for memory lots of gold plating in here lots of nice flat packs it's a decent looking board this one's not as good but it's still still stuff there you can use the more you take off the more you can save right I'll tell you very heavy everything's heavy I haven't even got into the thing yet just took forever just to take the little components off but anyways like I say um, I'm gonna take everything I can off like here's that heavy cast I was telling you about see right here I'm gonna cast. See, right there. Separate whatever you have to take off it to clean it. Right there. Okay, so anyways, you gotta just keep keep taking everything you can off it and because like I say there's a lot of stuff here. Okay. Well, monitors don't really have too much. One tiny little board, usually. A couple chips on there, crystal oscillator, some MLCCs and stuff like that. But very, very uh, basic. Same the power board, not much on there. Yeah, the other one, TV had had lots of aluminum, heat sinks, everything it was really, really good. The other one. Some of these have a board beside here. Okay, let's take the screws out first. Two screws on the other side, other side here, outer side. And there's another board with some gold fingers, usually. You see all the gold fingers here. It's not that good this board. It's hit and miss, right? Some boards are really good. This one happens to be not that great. There's still a little bit of plating on there. Put another TV up. Try to keep the garbage on one spot. Okay, this one I don't see the screws. I see one here, two here. Way they made it, it's kind of uh, each side flips in two different sides. See, like the board had a little bit of heat on the board. The actual board you want for the gold recovery is a very tiny board. This one here, very tiny board. 
It's your main board, but like every TV is different, right? Some TVs have a really big board, some have a very tiny board. You have to look at these connectors, see there's gold plating on the connectors here. You have to kind of examine all these different ones. Some have it, some don't, but you just have to look. I don't see no screw here. You should take out uh, this uh, metal here, metal ring. Okay, here's the power board, not much on it. A couple of spools, a couple of aluminum heat sinks, it's a spool, a couple of uh, torrid windings. Okay, this one, I'm going to move, take the side off again. These TVs aren't really that great, but. Uh, I take them just because you know it's, you got a quite a bit of metal still. It's better than nothing. My screwdriver. So you have a little bit of copper wire either side. See, this one's a bit better board. There's the plastic around it. See? Nice gold fingers right there. See that? Very nice. This one's good too, but... Uh, let's try to find my little screwdriver. And also have gold fingers right across the whole board. So that's bonus about TV sets is getting these um, gold fingers. See, nice gold fingers right across here, and you can feel them, so they're really good. Okay, so that's it. Uh. How some of the uh, other boards are like, like see here, look at this gold plating here is very nice. Look at this one here. Got gold plating all around it. Lots of gold plating. You can see they're all a little different. You just have to like take it, take it apart. Um, even if you just, um, I got, to me, I, I take it all apart. And I'm not expecting, you know, big gold value or nothing. All I'm expecting is, um, you know, whatever I can get, you know, out of here for just salvage. So I salvage the stuff. You know, this board's really not worth nothing here, but if I was in America or a board sort, they, they would buy it. Probably not very much, but end result is I'm going to go see what I can scavenge all these boards you know if I can get uh, components off there I can throw in the shred and that's well the price is getting a little bit better so maybe one day the prices will be like you know a lot higher but for now I'll just leave it the way it is take a few things components stockpile them for now